Jump Cairo, written and illustrated by Chihiro N. Gorgis. Cairo is a bright little green frog who loves to jump. He would jump out of bed each morning, hop into his clothes for the day, and jump and hop all the way to school. Everyone in school knew that Cairo was a great little jumper and they always cheered him on. Jump Cairo, jump over the slide! Cairo, can you jump and grab that mango up there in the tree? Hey Cairo, let's see if you can jump and touch the clouds. Cairo showed them all how high he could jump every chance he got. He crouched down low, gripped his toes, then with a burst of energy sprang as high as he could. He loved the way the air felt on his face, how the wind was past his ears and his tummy floated when he was falling back down. Cairo was the happiest of frogs when he was flying through the air. One day, as Cairo was coming home from school, he heard a curious sound. Boing, 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 boing. He crept closer to where the sound was coming from and peered through the tall grass. Cairo could not believe his eyes. There in front of him were three frogs springing, leaping, tumbling, and soaring higher than he'd ever seen. They were flying so high, they looked like they really were touching the sky. The red frog completed three somersaults in the air before coming back down. The yellow and blue frogs held hands and twirled together like a frisbee. Cairo was bewildered at how high and acrobatically they could all jump. He opened his mouth to say hello, but changed his mind. Something inside him pulled him back. He felt an emptiness in his stomach and a heaviness in his chest. His usually strong legs felt like jelly and his throat went dry. Instead of calling out to them, Cairo quietly stepped back, slouched over with his head down and turned to go home. That evening, he was unusually quiet at dinner. What's on your mind? His father asked. Papa, do you think I'm a great jumper? I think you're a terrific jumper. The best in the world? His father paused, then asked gently, Do you want to be the best? Cairo wasn't hungry. He didn't want to eat any more. Cairo dreamt of the three leaping frogs that night. Oh, how high they sprung. They looked as though they were flying and the amazing tricks they were doing. Somersaults, twirls, splits, dives. Cairo wanted to join them so badly, but now he couldn't move. He couldn't even manage a little hop. Cairo felt small and sad. The next day, his friends asked him as usual to jump over the slide, jump to get the mangoes and jump to reach the clouds. Cairo just looked at his feet. He didn't want to jump at all. On the way home, he couldn't help but walk towards the place he saw the three acrobatic frogs yesterday. Sure enough, there they were again, leaping and soaring even higher than the day before. Cairo was again mesmerized. He quietly tiptoed forwards to get a closer look when... He tripped over a rock and landed in front of them with a thud. The three startled frogs stopped jumping and looked at Cairo as he lay flat on the ground. Hey, are you okay? asked the red frog. Where did you come from? the blue frog added, peering at him curiously. It's like you fell from the sky, exclaimed the yellow frog looking up. Cairo staggered to his feet and stammered. I, I was watching the three of you jumping, Th then I tripped on a rock and fell over. His face felt hot and he wanted to hop away. The three frogs stared at him for a few seconds. Then the blue frog asked, Uh, well, do you like to jump? Cairo, a bit unsure at first, shyly began, I don't like to jump, then couldn't help himself and blurted, I love to jump more than anything and I want to jump really high just like you guys. 
Then come and join in jumping with us, invited the yellow frog eagerly. You can practice on our lily pad. Cairo looked past the three frogs and noticed something he hadn't seen the day before. There in front of him was a clear pond, and in the middle was the biggest lily pad he'd ever seen. So this was how the frogs were leaping so high. A load lifted from his chest and an impatient giddiness swelled in its place. Could you show me how to do those tricks too? Cairo asked. Sure, it's so much fun, the red frog chuckled. The blue frog chimed in. Once you learn these moves on the lily pad well enough, you can do them from the ground too. You'll be surprised how high you can jump after you practice on this thing, the yellow frog exclaimed. And so the four frogs bounced on the large lily pad together. Cairo burst into the air and had never felt so close to the clouds before. The air was fresher up there. The wind howled louder and his tummy sailed as he zoomed back down. He tried to land on his feet, but ended up splashing into the pond on his back instead. Cairo was having so much fun, he didn't care. Floating on the water, looking up at the sky, he thought, I'm going to practice and always get better because I love to jump. A warm spring breeze blew and rustled the leaves in the trees and everyone could hear the giggling and boing, boing, boinging of the four leaping frogs until the sunset.